Welcome to Jets Talk. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, I want to talk a little bit about my day today. Lots of fun over at training camp. Got to go there with O'Leary, Greenbean, and Richie from Jets Media. Had a great time seeing everyone out there, and we had a blast. Dalvin Cook shows up at the facility. You're seeing him come out onto the field. Aaron Rodgers takes a shot at Sean Payton, and Nathaniel Hackett's out on the field. And oh, it was just so much fun, so I'm excited to get into it all right now. First off, let's start with the Aaron Rodgers firing back at Sean Payton. For those of you guys that have been living under a rock, Sean Payton called out Nathaniel Hackett and the New York Jets saying, oh, they're looking for hard knocks. That doesn't usually translate. There's all these distractions. You know, look at uh, the Dream Team with the with the uh, Washington Redskins at the time, and then all of a sudden they don't, you know, perform well. Well, the Jets are going to do the same thing, and he's basically trying to deflect all this shit from his shitty team in Denver, <laughs> and he's trying to project it onto the Jets and screw this guy. So... Peter Schrager asked Aaron Rodgers how he felt about the comments that Sean Payton made, and here's what Rodgers had to say. I'm not going to ask you about Sean Payton's comments directly, but I will ask you to maybe address Nathaniel Hackett as a coach and what he means to you and what he can bring to this Jets team. That story goes out there. I had about a million texts from people in the coaching community saying that was out of line. Was there... Yet you see Hackett out here. He's still pumped up. I don't think it affects him as much as maybe it affects everyone on the outside. And yet you and him have this great bond and union together where you've always had his back, he's always had yours. Yeah, I love Nathaniel Hackett, and those comments were very surprising. Um, to, for a coach to do that to another coach, my love for Hackett goes deep. You know, we had uh, some great years together in Green Bay, kept in touch, um, love him and his family. He's an incredible family man, incredible dad, and on the field, you know, he's arguably my favorite coach I've ever had in the NFL. Yeah. Just his approach to it, how he makes it fun, uh, how he cares about the guys, uh, just how he goes about his business with respect, with leadership, with honesty, with integrity. And it made me feel bad that someone who's accomplished a lot in the league is that insecure that they have to take another man down to set themselves up for some sort of easy fall if it doesn't go well for that team this year. I thought it was way out of line and appropriate, and I think he needs to keep uh, my coach's names out of his mouth. Oh, Aaron Rodgers, I love you. <laughs> I'm absolutely on board with this. This guy has endeared himself to New York. He's got our coaches back, and we finally have the credibility of what Aaron Rodgers has accomplished during his time in Green Bay. We finally have some kind of standing in the league right now, and Rodgers speaking out against Sean Payton's comments protecting or backing Nathaniel Hackett is awesome. Between that, taking $35 million less on his contract to be a New York Jet, embracing the New York Jet media, the fans, the history of our city. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, Aaron Rodgers. Eat my heart out. Oh, this is awesome. I really like Rodgers' comments. Keep my coach's name out of your mouth. Sean Payton, stay in your lane. You got to take care of your own house because you know what? You're getting paid a whole lot of money over there to make things like happen. And you got this nice shiny quarterback over there, got a $250, $30 million contract. There's going to be a lot of pressure on you. There's a lot of pressure on the Jets, but get our name, get our coach's name out of your mouth. And I love Rodgers having our teams back. It just makes me feel good as a fan. And oh, fun. <laughs> With training camp, I got a cheese head when Rogers was coming here. I decided to make it a pizza head. So it's a, you know, hey, fun, right? New York slice of pizza? Kind of kind of a good thing. Um, yeah, Rogers coming. Friggin' ugh, everything was just a blast. And then we got to see Dalvin Cook come out of, like, one Jets drive coming out of the facility. Like, you already heard the Aaron Rodgers chance. Aaron Rodgers. Like, literally every time this dude walks out of the facility, the fans are jazzed up. Dalvin Cook, who was meeting with the Jets this weekend, walks out of the facility. He was already going on his media tour around, like, the last two days on all the talk shows and everything. Comes out of the facility, and the fans start going nuts. Jet fans saw the tweet that Cook was in the facility earlier today, and fans started going nuts. So seeing him come out of the facility and everyone just kind of having that rush of, all right, yo, this guy could potentially be signing while we're sitting at camp as of right now, as of recording this video, unless it happens while I'm recording this video. It has not happened yet. Cook on Good Morning, uh, Good Morning Football was saying he'd want to go home and talk to his family and make the right decision, take some time. So I wasn't expecting a signing, but at the same time, it would have been really freaking cool if we got a signing while we were all at Jets camp. 
You got to see some pictures of Woody Johnson talking to Dalvin Cook on the sidelines. That got me all sorts of excited. And then you had Cook and Brees Hall talking on the sidelines because there's this, you know, rumored rift between Hall and the Jets because of, you know, the the sniffing around of Ezekiel Elliott earlier in the offseason. And that, well, not that the Jets were sneaking around, sniffing around it, but it was more so the fans speculating Ezekiel Elliott after he got cut and Cook uh, Hall saying, oh, no, we're good over here. And then Dalvin Cook, all those rumors started you know, churning up and people are like making all these different decisions on what Hall theoretically is feeling. They're like, oh, he's not, he doesn't have the Jets in his Twitter. He never had the Jets in his Twitter. So it's not really like a big thing, but fans are all over the place on stuff. But it was nice to see Cook and Hall standing next to each other, just kind of like, even if it's just on the surface saying like, hey, there's literally nothing wrong here. We're talking, we're hanging out, they're watching drills. I think this is a good thing. I really don't think Hall is as like fired up as people or media or fans or whatever are trying to make this all seem out to be. Uh, this was just a really fun day all the way around. We got to meet a bunch of really cool people, really nice people out at camp today. And it was fun seeing Greeny. Greeny, you're flying back. He got some more footage. So he'll probably have more of a blog, vlog, vlog, video log out about our, our day and everything. If you want to check out Richie's feed, Richie had a whole bunch of stuff going out. O'Leary, uh, this was just a blast. <laughs> This was so much fun. So in short, I'm pumped about Dalvin Cook. I really hope he does sign. I think there's a lot of energy around this team. I don't know how you could be at that facility today and not hear your name being chanted, the energy around the fans. Oh, I didn't even bring this up. So Nathaniel Hackett's walking around pre-practice, right? Walking around pre-practice, does his laps. He does it every single practice, at least that I've been to, and I've been to three of the four. And he's going by and I stand up and I go, Sean Payton's a scrub. <laughs> like really loud. Everyone's like dead quiet. And Hackett just puts his fist up like that. I'm like, no, oh, let's go, Hack. Come on. We got you. New York's got your back. You're going to come in here. We're going to have an MVP caliber season with Aaron Rodgers and we're going to friggin' win it all. I hope we hang 60 on fucking Denver week five. I am all sorts of juiced for this. Oh, I'm ready for this season. I'm so amped up. Guys, let me know your biggest takeaways from camp today. What did you think of what we saw on the field? Got to see a nice maneuvering catch from Alan Lazard in the end zone for a touchdown. You saw a little bit from some of the other players. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, go Jets. Yeah!